Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I will be showing you guys how to make these amazing garlic butter pork bites. Absolutely delicious and very easy to make. Before I get started, if you're new here, please be sure to subscribe, like if you enjoy it, and let's begin. All right guys, here are the ingredients you will need to make this recipe. I will be sure to list everything down below for you. I'm using onion and garlic powder, paprika, dried pepper flakes with some Cajun seasoning. Also, you will need lots of garlic, as well as some fresh parsley with unsalted butter, soy sauce, you will also need some water. You can use chicken broth if you have that. Also, we're using boneless thick cut pork chops. So to begin, I am going to cut my pork chops into bite-sized pieces. All right, now that I have all of my pork chops nice and cut, I am ready to season. Here are a closer look of the seasoning. I like to mix everything together before I start seasoning. And now I am going to drizzle a little bit of oil to my pork chops. Then I am going to rub my hands all over the pork chops. Now we're going to season the pork chop. Generously, just sprinkle your seasoning all over the pork chops. Now, and nothing is too much seasoning. We want this pork chop to be very flavorful, so we're going to add all of that seasoning on there. Okay, now that we're done seasoning the pork chops, moving on to cooking it. Now in a skillet, I am going to drizzle some olive oil and then we're going to pour in the pork chops. Now my skillet is from Amazon, I will leave it well, I have, I have it on my Amazon store if you're interested because a lot of you guys have been asking. So it'll be down below for you. So I'm going to cook the pork chops for about five minutes per side. Once one side is nice and golden brown, you can flip it over and allow the other side to cook. Now keep an eye on these so you don't overcook them. Um, usually thick pork chops are nice and juicy, but if you overcook them, you definitely not gonna get that juicy pork chop texture. So don't overcook them, okay? So once they're done cooking, I am going to remove it from the skillet, set it aside. Also the oil, I went ahead and um, discarded the oil because we don't need that, okay? We're making garlic butter. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter in there. I know a lot of you guys probably say, why didn't you just use the butter at first? Because I would have burned the butter, okay? Butter tends to burn quick. So that's why I use the olive oil. And then I am going to add, I am going to add the garlic. We're going to cook the garlic for about 10 seconds or until fragrance. Then we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice, which I didn't show you guys. I just wanted to deglaze that pan a little bit because all of this is a flavor. Okay, we can't, we need this. And now I am going to add the soy sauce and mix it up together. And now is the perfect time for you to add your water. Like I said, you can use chicken broth. I didn't have any, but you can still use water about three to four tablespoons of water. And then you have your sauce nice and ready. Then I am going to grab the pork chops, come through pork chops. They looking nice and beautiful and delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Now we're going to place the pork chop into the sauce.
now take a good look and let me know doesn't this look delicious oh yes and you know you already know it's bomb it's tasty it's delicious as usual okay basically stir it up mix it up with the sauce and you all done baby I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. Let me know down below if you want to try this out. This is definitely one of my recommendations to anybody who's looking for a quick dinner. Try this out, you're going to love this. Okay? Also, if you enjoyed today's recipe, don't forget to smash the like button to let me know. And if you know here you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button to join this family because on this channel, I show you guys bomb recipe ideas on what to cook for your family. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.